hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello welcome if you have been here welcome back <laughs> welcome back to seeing me looking like shit because we all know i look like shit and i've come to terms with it but today today i'm actually gonna be looking like a decent human being and i'm super excited because one it's halloween season um meaning it's october but look at this awesome shirt i got from bucky's what it is freaking awesome i love it but this wouldn't be a makeup video if we weren't talking about makeup so although my shirt is amazing i'm really here because i just picked up this palette so excited for it because i saw it on on the ulta website or actually they sent me an email i swear ulta's the devil like they know when i say Oh, I'm not gonna be spending money anymore at Ulta. I'm gonna like start saving my money. Then they send me an email about, oh hey, we just got this in stock. <sighs> I love hate relationship with them. But anyways, that's beside the point. Super excited about this pumpkin palette and oh pumpkin spice palette. And these are the colors. Can we see? Can we see? Oh, what is this down here? I didn't see that. Oh, Oh, it says it smells like pumpkin pie. And I'm not going to lie, and people are going to hate me for this, but pumpkin pie is not my favorite. Like, I hate pumpkin pie. By the way, when I purchased this, it came with a, a gift. I'm telling you, Ulta knew that I was going to be like, oh, she's not going to buy it because she said she's going to start saving money. So let's just throw in a gift. <sighs> That's how they get me. Ulta, if you're watching this, free gift with purchase that always gets me i'm a sucker for free gifts free gift with purchase um <laughs> anyway so this is the Too Faced award winning minis and it comes with the eyeshadow primer uh hangover eyeshadow primer better than sex mascara and it comes with a little bronzer however if you know me then you know that i hate the better than sex mascara I know, right? I know, I know. People are going to be upset because I said that. But I have combination dry oily skin. And when, I, when I'm wearing the Better Than Sex mascara and I'm sweaty or oily and I blink, I turn into a raccoon. Because my mascara ends up all over this little part right here. So me and Better Than Sex mascara... No, so I'll probably oh my god look at how cute it is I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to my sister-in-law yeah, but we're not here to talk about better than sex mascara we are here for a get ready with me slash first impressions I guess I've never done a first impressions video so I'm pretty excited about it so let's go ahead and open it I swear I'm like the only person that is unable to open things and there's usually like a little pamphlet in there that gives us like different makeup looks but oh my god okay packaging doesn't disappoint it is beautiful I'm the same kind of packaging as their other palettes tin tin like t-i-n <laughs> tin kind of packaging absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this it's very aesthetically pleasing for me and then on the back it says pumpkin spice to face uh, look like a pumpkin pie and does it smell does it smell like a pumpkin pie to me it smells like pumpkin spice I don't know about a pumpkin pie, but y'all, these colors are absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I love them. And I feel like this has the perfect, perfect, perfect amount of mattes, the perfect amount of transition shades, the perfect amount of shimmery shades. I love it. I absolutely love it. I definitely see me getting a lot of use out of this palette and the mirror. I love the mirror. Hey there, ring light. So this is what the uh, 
palette looks like. I don't really have a makeup look in mind. I just picked up the palette and I said today's the day that I want to use it because it's officially October. Holiday season's coming up. I'm super excited. But I think, I think, okay, I don't think I know for sure that I want to use this color right here. That is called Pumpkin Spice. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that one right there, I want to use that one. I want to use that one and then incorporate one of these shimmery um, shades into my look. So I will probably end up incorporating this one up here. And this one is called Oh My Gourd. Oh, <laughs> let me turn this right side. This is called Oh My Gourd. I freaking love that. Like the name is so fitting. Um, so I'll probably do this color this color and then these two colors up here i don't know we'll see it's either gonna be a disaster or it's gonna be fucking awesome first impression so far i love it i love it it's everything i expected and then some the colors are beautiful the palette the packaging is beautiful it's the exact same packaging that they use for their other palettes um, i know the peach palette has the same like tin material and i really like it it's great for traveling because they're very durable very durable love them for that now are the colors good quality do they have good pigmentation i don't know that's what we're about to find out so funny enough i'm gonna be using the Too faced shadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow primer and no this was not intended i just happened to have this in my makeup bag and i was like okay why not let's go ahead and use it so anyways, y'all, while I'm doing this, I want to do an update because I feel like I have I don't post videos on you on this channel very often and I don't. I don't. I don't have an excuse. I'm a slacker. I'm a slacker, plain and simple. Um I do eventually want to make more of an effort to put more videos out as i stated before even if nobody watches my videos i love 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 makeup and i am starting to get and i'm really starting to get into this whole being behind the cam i'm okay hold on i'm starting to get <laughs> let me gather my thoughts I'm starting to get very comfortable with being behind the camera. Um, as I stated before, I am not a shy person, nor do I get stage fright when I have to talk in front of people. But for some reason, for some odd reason, I would get stage fright every time I turned on the camera and I like sat here. Why? I don't know. I truthfully, truthfully, truthfully don't know why I would get stage fright, but I did. <laughs> and now I am starting to feel a lot more comfortable um, making videos, being behind the camera, as I stated. I'm really enjoying it. I'm literally just enjoying my time here behind the camera. I'm really enjoying making videos and hopefully hopefully i can get my shit together and we can be more consistent in uploading videos but hey only time will tell so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color up here this is called whipped cream i absolutely love it the name is so fitting uh i'm applying this all over my eye I'm applying it on the eyelid, on the crease, and on the brow bone. And I'm just doing that as a base to, I guess, set that primer. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup pro. I'm just, a, I'm just your typical girl that loves to play with makeup. Should, don't come at me too harshly, y'all. You know what? It is way too hot right now. 
I'm sweating like crazy, so let me go ahead and turn the air on because we can't work like this. One moment, please. Be quick today because mom is about to get off work and I'm picking her up. So, dang, I forgot about that. Um, we can't really play with the palette like I want to, but I will definitely, um, I will definitely be creating more eye looks with it because it's so fitting for the season speaking of the season y'all tell me is it cold where you're at is it hot what part of the country are you in are you celebrating halloween this year or or no 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 how are you celebrating halloween this year because i feel like that's such a controversial topic right now like who would have thought that halloween was going to be this controversial controversial at one point you know and i say that it's controversial because you know a lot of people are choosing to not take their kids trick-or-treating which is totally fine i completely understand their concerns for their children and some people are choosing to say you know what fuck it 2020 has been a crazy year the least we can do is just let our kids go out and celebrate the holiday i don't have children so i really i feel like i really can't talk on that subject when it comes to kids and what people are or what people think is best because I feel like every parent knows what's best for their child you know it doesn't matter if Jane Doe thinks children shouldn't go trick-or-treating because of the COVID and then John Doe is like I'm letting my kids go trick-or-treating because I want them to have fun I just feel like I have no room to talk because again I'm not a parent I don't have children I respect other people's views and opinions and I also respect I also respect you know what parents think is best for their child now for us we're still gonna pass out candy this year if we get trick-or-treaters awesome and if we don't that's great too um, one of my sister-in-laws is a teacher at an elementary school. So if we don't get trick-or-treaters, we'll probably just pass on the goodie bags to her for her. Or, you know, I talk. So if we don't have any trick-or-treaters or not that many trick-or-treaters and we have quite a bit of goodie bags left for the trick-or-treaters, then we're just going to pass them on to my sister-in-law so that she can distribute them to her class if she's able to of course I, I don't know how that works but here at my mom's house we are planning on getting full-size candy bars to add to little goodie bags that we already made um we put cute little knickknacks in there like puzzles stickers pens pencils notepads you know little things here and there those little finger puppet things uh, those are my personal favorite i know i'm such a kid at heart but you know the reality is we don't know if we're gonna have any trick-or-treaters here at my mom's house um and i don't know if i will have any trick-or-treaters at home in arizona either so like i said if push comes to shove i'll just or we here in texas will just give my sister-in-law those goodie bags for her students i'm pretty sure they will appreciate it in Arizona if we don't have that many trick-or-treaters then I don't know I guess we wait no no I'm not gonna eat the candy y'all I'm trying to like get into a healthier lifestyle as well it's just so freaking hard okay anyway um moving on so that first color whipped cream I really liked it. Let me take this off. Oh, hold on. 
ready for a so satisfying moment. Boom. <laughs> I know I'm such a dork, but I like those so satisfying moments. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go in with pumpkin spice now, which is this beautiful color right here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my crease. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. And that's going to go all over the crease. So these do have, these are a little powdery. So these are a little powdery, as you can see. I'm barely tapping the eyeshadow. And it's creating a lot, and it's creating a lot of, like, little loose dust. But the pigment, the pigment on this is really good. Look at that. I love it. I love it. It's very pigmented. You know what? <laughs> this brush was dirty. Oh my gosh. So I have the color down here. And then as you can see up here, it's a little darker from the color that was previously on this brush. Oh my gosh. And there's no time to like go back and take it off and redo it because man, the freaking powder this makes um because it's getting close to um the time i have to go pick up my mom from work so whatever we're just gonna roll with it i'm pretty sure people will notice but they're not gonna say shit people will be like this bitch has two different colors on one of her eyelids but they won't tell me anything they'll just stare and give me this weird look like this bitch don't know how to blend or this bitch don't know what she's doing which is fine i don't i don't claim to know what i'm doing i just claim to love makeup and love playing with it so far this color is very highly pigmented i am absolutely loving that all right next i'm gonna go in with all for it and that's this color right here this is all for it and i'm gonna apply that all over my lid and I'm just using this Urban Decay brush. I don't even know what palette this came in, but it's in here, so I'm using it. Again, look, I'm barely tapping it. I'm barely tapping it, and look at all that dust that it's creating. I'm not happy about that, but whatever. I'll deal with it. Okay, this color is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's not as pigmented as the first one. No biggie. We'll just see how these colors build up. Okay, so color is building beautifully. So these are buildable. I absolutely love that and then let's see how they blend into each other okay they are blending in perfectly with one another so far this palette has truly impressed me. I really love it. So far, this palette has truly impressed me. The eyeshadows are pigmented. Okay, some colors are pigmented, but they blend very well and they are buildable. My only complaint about it is I barely tap on the eyeshadow. You know, I barely tap on the eyeshadow and it just creates so much little dust and I hate that. I absolutely hate that. It, they're powdery, I guess. I don't know what the correct term is, but 
And yeah, I keep looking up because I'm actually watching 90 Day Fiance. Does anybody else watch that show? No, just me. Nah, I can't be the only one that watches it. Like, my brothers and their girlfriends. Or my brothers and my sister-in-laws. Um, their girlfriends. <laughs> they watch this show. And my husband and I have watched a few episodes. Although I feel like my husband, you know, he doesn't really care for reality TV. Perfect. Let me just blend this in to the gray color. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, you know what, I wanted to go in with ginger spice, but I think I'm actually gonna go in. So I wanted to go in with ginger spice, which is this red shade right here, but I think I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called warm and cozy and it's this one right here it's this one <laughs> it's this one right here um because i feel like i have too much orange on going on so that one is like a wine color it's beautiful see like a wine color Just put that on the outer corner and again I'm on a time crunch so I know that this makeup like is gonna end up looking funky but what else we're just rolling with it yeah so what are we talking about oh yeah 90 day fiance do you watch it who's your favorite couple what season are you on if you're outside of the US have you seen 90 Day Fiancé? What are your thoughts on 90, 90 Day Fiancé? If you're in the U.S., same question goes for you. What do you think about the show? What do you think about the 90 Day Fiancé? Me, personally, I love the show. It gives us an insight on the struggles that people go through trying to find love and trying to bring their love to the US and I also like watching 90 days the other way where people go and live with their significant others in other countries like that's love that's honestly love if you can just get up and leave everything you know leave your family leave your home leave your community your state your country to go live in a completely different country where you probably don't know the language, you don't know the culture, you don't know how things are in that country. That is true love. You know, you're making a lot of sacrifices moving to a new country. Whether it's people moving here to the U.S. or whether it's people moving out of the U.S. into a different country. You're sacrificing so much. So incredibly much. You know, especially if there's a language barrier where people are moving to. Like, oh, you know, I can't speak for other people. I can speak for myself. I moved from Texas to Arizona to be with my husband. And he had, he made the move first. So he lived in Arizona, I lived in Texas. And he moved to Texas to be with me. So he made a huge sacrifice by leaving everything behind and coming to be with me in Texas. Um, so I know that it's so hard when you do that because you're literally leaving everything you know behind. You're leaving your friends behind. You're leaving your family behind. You're leaving your pets behind and that is so heartbreaking. Um, so he came to live with me and I truly appreciate him for that. And then we couldn't find good jobs in Texas. So we ended up moving to Arizona. And when I was in Arizona, so my husband was only here for 
roughly eight months. He came to live with me in August. And then we moved out of state in on April 1st of the following year. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So he was only here for roughly seven, uh, between seven and eight months. And I'm pretty sure it was rough for him. I, I mean, I can't speak for him, but I'm pretty sure it was rough. The good thing is he did go back and forth, you know, um, to Arizona to go see his family and whatnot. Now me, when I moved um, out of state, <laughs> it was a little hard for me. I'm not going to lie because, again, I was leaving my fa uh, friends, family, everything I knew behind. Um, I was going to be somewhere brand, brand new where I didn't know how people were. I didn't know anyone. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what I just applied, I, it's this Tula, um, skincare glow and get it glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. And that's supposed to make you not look so tired. I'm literally not <laughs> I'm not flipping you off. I literally broke a nail. I heard somewhere. I heard someone say that you have to pat it in. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was talking about my experience moving out of state. Um, when I moved out of state, it was so hard for me. It was so hard for me. Um, I couldn't adapt. People in Arizona are so different from people in Texas. To me, it was a culture shock going from Texas to Arizona. Um, I became very homesick very quickly. It was so hard. It was so hard. Um, because I didn't have any friends out there, literally. I, I mean, the only people I knew was my mother-in-law because she had come to visit us in texas and like stay with us for um some time so she's the only one i knew oh and you know victor's two cousins uh two of victor's cousins because they had come to stay with us as well while victor was here in texas with me so yeah i became very depressed I became very depressed. I became very homesick. I missed Texas like crazy. I missed my family. I missed my dog. I missed just everything. Everything. I miss seeing the skyscrapers because y'all, Arizona, like we have skyscrapers in Phoenix, uh, um, downtown Phoenix, but where I live, there's no skyscrapers. Um, another thing is, it was hot as hell. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was so hot. I cried. I cried so much the first few years because it was just so hot I couldn't stand it. It's so freaking hot. It's so freaking hot out there. What am I saying it was? It still is. I cried. I cried the first few years out there during the summertime because it was just so unbearably hot for me. Mm -mm. I still bitch and complain every single summer. As soon as summertime gets here and we hit triple digits, I start bitching and complaining <sighs> because it's so unbearably hot. And I literally ask myself, or I I always <laughs> ask, I'm like, holy shit, who can live like this? Like, who can seriously live like this? Yeah, it's kind of like my own little inside joke to make me feel better about the heat. But I really do sit there and think sometimes, like, it's so hot. Like, how can people live like this? But I live like that.
and I'll tell you, I don't really leave my house during the summertime unless I absolutely have to. It's so hot and I'm not trying to deal with the heat. So, you know, I, I'll get out of the house to go to work, to go to grocery store. Um, I'll get out of the house for a little bit to go to like a party. If it if it's outdoors, I'll just be out there for a little bit because I can't stand the heat. And then I sweat like crazy. I'm, well, you all have seen me sweating like crazy. I always sweat like that. I don't know why. Um, I sweat like crazy. So I don't do my makeup so much in Arizona anymore. Um, sorry, my dad was calling me. So anyways, what was he saying? Mm, I forgot what I was saying. I was talking about how hot it is in Arizona. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't really do my makeup in Arizona during the summertime because having a full face of makeup just to go out into the heat and sweat like crazy and just have all your beautiful creation melt off your face is not fun whatsoever. It pisses me off. So... If I know I'm going to an outdoor event, I don't even bother doing my makeup. Like, maybe I'll wear waterproof mascara. Um, and maybe waterproof eyeliner. But I don't wear foundation of any kind. I don't wear concealer. I don't wear bronzer. I don't wear eyeshadow. I don't wear... Uh, it, mm, actually, I was going to say I don't wear a lipstick, but that's not true. I will wear a matte lipstick because mattes stay on your lips for quite a while but other than that i don't really um do my makeup during the summertime now when the temperature cools down or i know i'm gonna be inside indoors then i will go ahead and do a full face of makeup but But it, it still sucks doing a full face of makeup during the summertime there because for me, walking from the door of the house to my car, I'm already sweating. My milk, uh, sweating, like dripping. So my makeup's already starting to melt and I'm like, oh, man, this sucks. But you know what really helps? Um, this. The Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, absolutely love it because it holds up my makeup. So I actually combined, the, I don't have a D Slick, I didn't bring it with me, but I actually combined the All Nighter and the D Slick Spray together to really hold my makeup in place because I do have combination skin. Found out by testing my theory <laughs> that if i mix both of those two together the d slick from urban decay and the on eider my makeup stays put and i love that all right we have two out of two done and then i need to quickly put on mascara and blush highlighter all that good stuff because my mom's about to get out of work and i don't want to make her wait for me too long so I need to hurry it up. I'm not even going to put fake lashes on today because I'm like in time crunch. Like I literally have about three minutes before I have to get out of here. And I still need to put on pants because I'm, <laughs> I'm not sitting here in my underwear. Um, I have shorts on, but they are the shorts that I went to sleep in. I only changed shirts for this video. So I need to get dressed. I need to do my mascara and everything else i'm not even gonna do my hair my hair is gonna stay put no i'm gonna i'm gonna brush my hair i'm lying i'm gonna take my my little um you know those little hair brushes that that fold like the little travel ones i guess i'm gonna brush my hair with one of those in my car after i pick up my mom Sorry, I can't talk while I'm doing mascara either because I'm like this. Does anyone else make funny faces when you're doing mascara?
All right, beautiful. Man, you know what I just realized? I haven't put makeup on the bottom of my eyes. Maybe, maybe I'm not going to have time to, um, crap, I'm not going to have time to, to bronzer and such. All right, that is going to have to suffice because like I said, I'm on a time crunch here. I don't really have time to fix my makeup. So, Burr, that's what I get for being a slacker. Just gonna put mascara on the bottom, quickly throw on some bronzer, blush, all that good stuff. But man, you know, I this morning when I woke up, I planned on being ready by one, getting the dogs ready. Um, getting the dogs ready by 1:30 and then being out of here by 1:45 to pick up my mom. Like to be early to pick up my mom. Cause she gets off around 2 to 30 but yeah it's now it's now 1 like 57 I have three minutes to hurry up and leave the house so this is the final eye look and then we <laughs> just got it quickly brown blush bronzer all that stuff like I've been mentioning I don't even know where my bronzer is. <sighs> Whatever, I don't know where my bronzer is. So I'm just going to use this contour from Pure. I don't even know the name of the shade. And I don't even know where the fuck my contour brush is. Oh my god. Don't you hate it that when you're in a hurry is when you can't find things? Well, you know what? If I can't find a contour brush, if I can't find my contour brush, I'm just going to have to roll with it. Oh, 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 actually, 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 actually. Found it. Slanted brush. This is not my regular contour brush, but it'll have to do. Like I said, I'm in a time crunch here. I'm in a hurry, and you hurry, and you hurry. We've ha we have less than a minute. So we're just gonna do it however it comes out. Ooh. So however it comes out, it comes out. It's, we're, we're, we're rolling with it. There we go. I had to blend out that other side because it was really harsh. <sighs> All right, cool. I was gonna do blush with that same brush, but hell no, that's not a good idea. So for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this Benefit Dream Rush. And this is the little travel size. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. I love how buildable these are. Um, They're not like... Um, they're very pigmented but they're not like um you dip 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 and then bam you look like a clown no they're very subtle and you can build them up oh man why is my mom's dog barking i hope no one's at the front door because i have time to like greet anyone right now i'm actually leaving someone pa excuse me someone passing by my mom's dog being crazy i need a highlighting brush you know what I have time to look for a highlighting brush. Just gonna do it with my finger and hope for the best. Ooh, look at that glow. You know what? This is one of my, sorry, I was itchy. 
um, this is one of my favorite highlighters. It is the Kylie Jenner uh, Eyes Me Out is the shade. I absolutely love it. It's so pigmented. Look at that shine. Oh my gosh. I always say I want the gods from above to be able to see me. <laughs> and this highlighter definitely, definitely does that. All right, we're good, we're good, we're highlighted. We have setting spray on. We have blush bronze for all that good stuff. I just need a lip product. What lip product am I gonna use? I'm just reaching in here. This is the Mega, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipstick in the shade Bear It All. And look at how cute their new packaging is. I absolutely love it. And this is the shade. It's a very neutral shade. Perfect for this makeup look. I'm not even putting a lip liner on today because we are like in the negatives now. I was supposed to leave like two minutes ago. All right, y'all, so this is the final makeup look. Excuse the hair. I, I haven't put any product in it, so it's all over the place. I really love playing with this Too Faced um, Pumpkin Spice Palette. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I don't know how the people do it like they make it look so easy. youtubers professional youtubers they make it look so easy beauty gurus make it look so easy they're like and they just look stunning me i don't know i'm new at this whole thing um <laughs> so i can't make this look stunning but um yeah this is like i said the final makeup look, look at my hair oh my gosh it's so curly i need to put product in it i just started using something else that's another topic but yeah i really enjoyed playing with this makeup palette i absolutely loved it it's very pigmented the colors blend very well together they are buildable the packaging is beautiful i wouldn't expect anything less from Too Faced. they always have very beautiful fun packaging um I love that it comes like in that tin can material. It's very durable. It protects your palette when you drop. Obviously, if you drop it from like, uh, you know, a height of more than three feet, it, possibilities are your eyeshadows are going to break. Otherwise, it does a pretty good job of protecting your palette. Um, it smells good. It smells like pumpkin spice. So I absolutely love that. And the colors in there, I feel like it has the perfect amount of mattes, the perfect amount of shimmer shades, the perfect amount of transition shades, dark um, outer corner shades. It's just a really good palette to have. 